Mickey snack, and Essie, plus Sprinkles the bear. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Amy Jo for Nat and Essie. Today I'm gonna to be opening the Craftivity Tropical Terrarium and we're gonna decide if it is fab or if it's a fail. All right, let's open the box and see what we have inside. All right, so we have instructions. We have some soil, some little white rocks, and then there are two different colors of decorative sand, like a peachy orange color and blue, and the terrarium, of course, and then some gold tape to decorate it. So the gold tape would go on all of the seams to make it look a little fancy. <laughs> We have seeds for the polka dot plant, and there are two decorations. So there is a pink flamingo and then a little pineapple plant. Okay, this kit also comes with a little water dropper so that you can water the seeds once you've planted them. There are two things that you'll need that do not come with the kit, a pair of scissors and a spoon. Step number one, add the gold tape. All right, so as you add the tape, you're gonna wanna press and smooth it down. So if you, when you're positioning it, if you don't get it centered, it's very easy to reposition. So I thought this was gonna be really complicated, but it's not bad. <laughs> you will need to go back and press it all into place though. Okay, so our next step is to do our first layer and it's going to be the white rocks and we're gonna pour most of them in the bottom and just save a little bit for the end. And then we're gonna push those to the side like that. So we're gonna be creating the layers now for the terrarium. So we did the white stones. Next, we're going to do the potting soil. And we're gonna mix this with water to form like kind of like a clay. And then we will spoon this into the center. And so I'm using the pictures on the box and also the pictures that are in the instructions. So the instructions are very helpful. And actually I thought that the clay just went in the center but it looks like they put it everywhere. So that's what we'll do. Okay, after the soil, we're doing layers of the decorative sand. So I'm just pressing the soil down to make that a little more compacted. And then I'm gonna start with blue and I'm gonna do the blue sand and then the peach. So the directions say to mostly keep it on the sides. Ooh, ooh, that's tricky. <laughs> And then I only am supposed to use three quarters of the bag because we'll want some for the next layer too. Okay, so that looks cute. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I got more blue on that side. So I'm gonna try to do more of the orange on this side to level it out. And then we'll add the rest of the potting soil 
to the front and then add our seeds. Okay, so now we're going to add more of the potting soil. And we especially want to have it right by the front because that's where we're gonna place the seeds. And the directions say to plant three seeds, so that's what we'll do. Okay, so you can see they have the potting soil at the front, the decorations in the back, and then they've added more sand. So our next step is to add the seeds. Look how tiny the seeds are. <laughs> Whoa, those are so small. Okay, I'm actually gonna use tweezers to add these because they are so tiny. And I'm just gonna add them right at the front. Okay, just a tiny bit of water. The kit came with this, but I already had this and it was full of water, so I just went with that. Okay, so now the decorations. So let's see. We'll put this in the back corner. Oh my goodness, just fell apart. Okay, now the flamingo. <laughs> That's cute. Now we'll add the rest of the decorative sand. And then I'm going to add the white rocks at the front. And here is our finished terrarium. So let's see, I'm definitely gonna say this is fab, not fail. I think this is really cute. I think it's, you know, easy to put together. And then we'll just watch this area, keep this um, in bright, indirect sunlight and water it a couple of times a week. And hopefully in a few weeks, we'll have some plants growing there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye.